welcome to Chili Time. Oh, it's Chili Night. I have my good friend Gooby over here helping me out. Can you guys hear me all right, by the way? Loud and clear? Audio is low? Okay. So I'm, I'm, using a, uh, I'm using my laptop, which is a machine that I have not streamed on in many, many months. So <laughs> that's why I have the old overlay and all, all these levels are probably whack, at least a little bit. Um, so, so bear with me, folks. Bear with me. Okay, okay, so if you can hear me, and you can see me, I think we're getting, uh, I think we're cooking, cooking with gasoline, as they say, but not literally. That is a little bit overkill for what we're doing tonight. We're gonna make some chili. Yeah, so I make chili every few months. It's... I make it veggie style, so so um, you can do it. You can do chili in so many different ways, because chili is it's basically just it's basically slop. You know, it's Mexican slop. But you can you can make your slop. You can go premium with it. You can you can go the path path of least resistance. You know, whatever whatever tickles your fancy. But uh, I, I I take the path of some resistance. That's kind of what we do. Um, yeah, so, um, what I, what I like to do is I, I like to use a combination of fresh stuff, some canned stuff, um, and I, I don't use real meat. Obviously, I, I'm using, I'm going to be using Beyond Meat tonight. In fact, you know what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a little tour of what we're going to be working with tonight. Hopefully, this doesn't make you motion sick or something. Hey, look, there's Gooby. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Yeah, good boy. You can have it. He was waiting for that chicken this whole time. Okay, so check it out, folks. I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer. Whoops. Okay. Hang on. This is obviously not my office. This is not where I'm used to streaming, so gonna be a little bit of a little bit of a derp factor tonight but bear with me okay so what you're gonna need folks if you're gonna be making some some famous sung family chili um, we're not gonna be using chili powder chili powder is bullshit it is yes it tastes it makes stuff taste like chili but you can make your own chili mixture so much better than uh, than the crap that you can buy in like a little package so in terms of spices, you're gonna want cumin. You're gonna want paprika. You're gonna want garlic powder. You're gonna want uh, oregano. I like to use. Um, I got some bay leaves. These are kind of old, old and shitty, but they're bay leaves. I, I forgot to get pick up some new ones. And we're gonna be frying up some some peppers of the arbol and guajillo uh, variety, and we're gonna fry those up a little bit, and then we're gonna chop them up real fine in uh, in a coffee grinder type thing. Also tonight, tonight I'm going. We're going wild. We're going wild tonight because you know why? I'm gonna try something I've never done before, but I've heard about it. I'm gonna put some. Frickin' coffee in our chili tonight. I ground up some coffee real fine. Give it a little bit of a flavor bomb. Can you dig it? Um, so it, that that's pretty much covers the spices. Uh, oh, also cinnamon. You can use cinnamon if you like. Uh, that's a bit of a different kind of flavor bomb other than the, uh, other than the coffee. Um, I also have, of course, lemon juice. You're gonna need a shit ton of lemon juice. Uh, vinegar, white vinegar I prefer. Uh, I have a whole bunch of canned shit here as well. So this is what I mean. In quarantine, chili has been like such a lifesaver because what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill 
this motherfucker with chili. This is gonna be full of chili. We're gonna have gallons of chili, liters of chili. Uh, and we're gonna, we're gonna freeze most of it. And the thing about freezing chili is that it actually gets tastier when it's been frozen and it's been sitting because the, the, the flavors, they all mix together, you know? And we're gonna be, uh, more, more on that later. Oh, great. We've got a commercial. I'm gonna fix that for you right now. Um, what we're listening to is a lo-fi beats playlist on YouTube. Copyright free lo-fi beats, in case you're wondering. Um, so in terms of our, our, what do you call them? Canned goods. We have thing of corn, whole kernel corn. So with the canned goods, the key, the key is you want to try to pick up salt-free canned goods uh, as for as many of these things as you can. Now, it's not always that easy. Like sometimes you get lucky at the store and you'll, they'll all be like salt-free or low sodium because we want to add our own. So we want to add our own salt. You know, customize that that shit. So we got kidney beans. We got whole kernel corn. We got black beans. We got sweet peas down here. Kidney beans. More kidney beans. White beans. So we got three different types of beans. We've got uh, tomato. We've got crushed tomatoes. This is tomato sauce. Looks like I fucked up a little bit. Whatever. Tomato sauce is fine. <laughs> you want to get crushed tomatoes if you can, because crushed tomatoes don't have any spices in them at all. So you're basically like working with a clean slate if you do that. But uh, got diced tomatoes, several cans of diced tomatoes, and crushed tomatoes or tomato sauce. Try to get it salt-free if you can, because you don't. Because it's easy if you're using canned goods. It's easy to go like to get so much sodium in there. So don't try to try to avoid that. Um, in terms of fresh shit, we've got. Mushrooms. We've got broccoli. Yes, broccoli. I put broccoli in my chili. See, that's the thing about slop. You can put anything you want into slop. And it broccoli, honestly, ah, is beautiful because it, it turns into like little, little like flavor sponges. All these little like florets that you. It's beautiful. Uh, we got green peppers. You can use any kind of peppers you want, like red peppers. Uh, any 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 color of peppers. We've got a, a single onion as well. And what else do I have here? I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't know. I'll probably remember it later. And we also have our meat alternative. So you can use, if you want, you can use ground beef. That's fine. Uh, I choose Beyond Beef because it's really close to the real thing. Um, and it cooks a lot like the real thing too, which is really, really so we're gonna be frying that up, uh, browning it, you know, before we uh, toss it into our slop tonight. So folks, all right, that's the tour of, that's the tour of our uh, ingredients tonight. Um, how are we doing out there? Can you guys, are we still good on levels? You guys hear me and I'm making sense. Hype train, we got a hype train for chili going on. Yeah, 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 you can, exactly, you, that's the spirit, you can put it in a trough, it's, it's, it's just slop. It's just Mexican style slop, that's all it is. Um, word, so, uh, let's get chopping, folks. Oh, before we, before we go, I just watched Halloween the other night, so this is, you know, I'm getting, but I did, I did seriously just watch uh, Halloween, the original. So good. So good. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna sharpen up this knife here. I don't know what the proper technique is, but it certainly helps. Get yourself a big old kitchen knife, a Mike Myers style knife. Very good. And we're gonna, we're gonna rinse it off because you don't want metal shavings in your shit. Don't get... Don't eat metal. Okay, so we've got our big old knife. Okay. <laughs> All right, so what are we gonna start with, folks? Excellent question. 
So I have multiple I have multiple uh, frying pans here because we're gonna be we're gonna be frying up pretty much all of our veggies, and we're gonna be frying up the meat as well. So we're gonna we're gonna be simultaneously frying a whole bunch of shit. But first, what should we do first? Well, let's chop some shit up. Let's get it, let's prep let's prep our stuff. Here we go. I'll angle this camera down a little bit. You can. See what I'm doing? So, back in the day when I worked in a kitchen, I was I was instructed to hold a knife like this. Hold it, gripping the blade. See that? You're never gonna. That's never gonna slip. Knife technique is important. I'm sure there's some some actual chefs out there who are like, "What are you doing?" But this is this is what I what I learned. Gripping your knife like this, handle the blade. Because if you're holding it like this. You can, it's easy to slip and like, you can chop your finger off. Don't want, don't want that. Finger are not part of the recipe. So let's just chop this shit up. So I like to, um, I'm gonna try and, we're not quite dicing the broccoli. We're gonna, we want it to, we want it to like create a whole bunch of like little mini florets, you know? And we can we can even keep the stock in the broccoli stock because that's got a nice peppery flavor. Um. Yeah. So we're chopping it up a bit. Also, another thing for knife technique. I don't, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you have a lot more experience cooking than I do, but another thing that I learned working in the kitchen. Hold, hold your veggies like this. Don't hold it with your fingers out. Hold it like this. If you're prone to chop your chop your fingers. Remember, finger is not an ingredient in chili. Um, so you can you can hold it like this, with your knuckles with your fingers tucked in, so that you just you know not gonna chop off your fingertips. These are just things that I've learned. I'm sure it's not. Uh, I'm no, I'm no blue seal friend. Oh. So I don't want to dice this shit up too, too much. I want the florets to be, uh, resembling little tiny stalks of broccoli. That's just the way I like it. I really like broccoli in chili. I mentioned that already, but... Broccoli's really fucking good for ya. So here we're just kinda... Now we're sort of semi-dicing this shit. So all in all, I think this will probably take us about an hour. Maybe 45 minutes. But the thing is, we also... We can also, um... We're gonna be letting it simmer. Like... I'm gonna let the like once we once we do like pretty much all the all the prep and throw everything in, we're gonna let that shit simmer for like hours. Sometimes I let it simmer overnight. And then in the morning I let it cool down and then pop it in the fridge or the freezer. I'm just kinda going kinda going wild with this broccoli right now. I'm going wild. See that? Because really, let's face it, folks. Chili, Mexican slop, chili is really just a vessel for tortilla chips. I mean, come on. Nachos with chili, out of sight. Out of sight. But you can also, if you're, uh, if you're looking for a, a more low-calorie version, you can, just, you can just eat it straight up. Or have it with, like, some... Some, uh, slice of bread or something. Toast it up. You know? Yum. Yummers! Okay! <laughs> so this is this is kind of like the size I like to, to get the, the broccoli in. Just like little, little chunks, not too small. We don't want to dice it too finely. But it looks like a lot of broccoli, but it's, it's really just one crown. 
So with this now, we're just about ready to toss it in. Okay. Careful with your knife. Okay, I have this other knife here. All right, so we're gonna start, which one are we gonna start in? I don't know. medium heat for all this broccoli. We'll get the, toss that broccoli in there in just a sec. So I bought, I bought these pre-sliced mushrooms. Yep. Pardon me. And don't forget with all of your, with all of your canned goods, you are gonna, like your beans and stuff, you're gonna wanna rinse those, those bad boys off. to do is is uh, I also I also fry the corn because fried corn like when it's all toasted and brown takes on a whole different flavor than regular ass corn you know and it's really good in chili so I'll show you what I mean I'm gonna start frying the corn because it takes a while I'm just rinsing off my, my Heat it up now. Um, toss a bit of veggie oil in this puppy. Hey, buddy! So we're getting pretty close to the witching hour for Gooby, you know. Um, also, there's like friggin' fireworks every goddamn night, and it drives him insane, which drives me insane. There's, why are there fireworks every night? Every single night. It's crazy. Who does that? Okay, so, I'm gonna start, uh, give that a minute. So I'm on medium heat here. I'm also gonna, what did I do with that oil? bad boy over here as well. Yeah, okay, so this is getting ready. Just fire it up. I would just be like, if I had the means to do it, I would just like, whoops, I would just fry all the veggies all at once. If I had like a flat top or something, that would be, that would be the move. So we're gonna let that go. Um, so we're gonna fry our corn now. This one. This one will take a bit of a higher heat. Put the corn on like medium high. That's gonna take a while because we want it to really like get nice and brown. And it, it like sort of caramelizes a little bit. It's nice. So we can also, while these things are frying, while the uh, frying pans are occupied, we're gonna open up the, all of our over canned goods and rinse off those beans. So 
So I'm going to start with uh, one of each. we got kidney, black bean, and white bean. All the colors of the rainbow. Yeah, rinse your beans, nerds. Goddamn right. Again, I choose to use low sodium canned stuff, low sodium beans, as much as possible. So I got this big old colander. I'm just gonna go off screen here over my sink and dump them all, rinse that shit. <laughs> All right, our beans, our beans have been rinsed. Flip this broccoli. Oh yeah, see how it's get, starting to get brown? Yum, that's what we want. What's next, folks? Oh, yeah, we still have our peas over here. Let's open these guys up, rinse them off. Rinse off your peas, nerds! Don't forget to rinse your peas and dot your eyes. That's what I always say. shit off, rinse all your shit off always. Cut this bad boy in half. I'm gonna create a little uh, place where I can put all the food waste next to my station. sizzling folks we are a sizzling that's our broccoli and our corn going over there from so, music legend quincy jones uh, damn you who, you too a new technology to learn the piano at home by playing your so we're going to be dicing these peppers up centimeter to a centimeter and a half. That's a nice little nice size for our, our diced veggies. Mm. 
Yeah, and that's the other thing. Uh, chili, like this, the way that I do it, is really hard to fuck up because the thing about it, if you're like, well, I don't know what makes a good, uh, what makes a good chili mixture ratio, like if you don't know your spices and stuff, that's fine because it's very forgiving because since we're gonna be letting it simmer for like hours, you can go back to it every every once in a while and, and give it a taste and be like, oh, this needs more cumin or oh, this isn't spicy enough, it needs more chili peps, that kind of thing. Yeah, okay. Green peps are good to go. smells so good. Like a, a fry, it's almost like it's borderline popcorn. So, our broccoli's almost done. I'm gonna show you guys a little trick I learned in Nam when it comes to cutting onions. are like trolls. There's many layers. So, how to, how to perfectly dice an onion? An onion? So we got it, we got it in a half like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it a bunch of times all the way around, but we're not gonna cut it all the way through. We're gonna leave about a centimeter uncut at the top. I'll show you what I mean. See this? I, I cut it, I cut it all those times, but there's a little bit at the top that's holding it all together. And that allows us to just go like this, turn it sideways, and then just bam, knock it out. Perfect size. Every little bit of the perfect size. I mean it's not rocket surgery, but it's a little trick in case you don't know. Do the same thing with this other onion. perfect size. Alright, All right, we're ready to start. Another one. Okay, so see that? It's starting to get brown. Hopefully you can see it a little bit. That's what we want. We want to get nice and nice and brown. Okay, so broccoli. That shit right in here. Nope. Now we can start on another, some other veggies. Re oil that shit. Our onions, we toss our onions and our mushrooms in. This next one. Put the oil around. Because the 
onions and the mushrooms will reduce. So there's enough room. It looks like a lot right now, but... You know, we can also fry some shit in the actual pot that we're going to be using. I'm going to start that up. <laughs> it's coming together. Starting to heat up our pot now. Let's get our meat ready. So that's the thing about Beyond Meat. It, it honestly cooks so much like like real ground beef. I wish I had more corn. I would have, I would have, uh, I would have, um, done a second thing of corn. That's all right. We're almost start, uh, we're almost ready to start putting stuff together in our pot. And then that's when the real fun begins. We get to add our spices. You guys doing all right out there? Ha 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 ha! We're having fun. We're cooking. Ha 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 ha! missing something. In with our uh, 
with our uh, other prepared. Here we got our, this is what our broccoli and our corn looks like. Now comes the Beyond Meat. You can use use your ground beef if you wanna. I don't give a shit. I'm not gonna preach to you. Busting that shit up. start I'm gonna start like seasoning the meat just because I feel like it I'm gonna toss in some let's see here so I can get you a bit closer to the action over here so it's not been opened yet it's got a freshness seal Shit, man. Put it all in. This also has a freshness seal. So you know it's good. You, uh, I didn't, I didn't end up using real garlic because for the volume of chili that I'm making, I would need to use so much garlic and it's just kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> Remember, it's the path of some resistance. Shit, I said I was gonna... Hey, buddy. Hey, look, it's Gooby. Hey, buddy. Hey, can you go to your bed? Can you go to your bed? What? Lay down. up some shit in, in here. They're basically frying everything right now. So you can, some people make, some people make their chili with, with stock. You can make your chili with stock. That's cool. But I prefer a nice tomato, a nice tomato-y base. Uh, it's more and it's more substantial too. Um, it's not just like, it's not just from a bouillon cube or whatever. It's just flavor. But to each their own. Just go like this, boop. 
Launch that whole sucker right in there. Oh, but it doesn't end there. No, no. There's more. It's gonna we're gonna toss some dice tomatoes in there too. Cause heck it! Heck it! I don't care. I'm fucking crazy, man. chunky little base we've got going on here. Alright, I'm done with the meat. These look good too. Okay, whoops. Onions are fried. Oh shit. Don't, don't eat that gooey, that's onions. That's bad news. Alright, <laughs> I'll give it to him. Fuck it. Don't, no, 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 don't eat the onions. Ding dong, don't eat the onions. Oh, he didn't. Okay, good. <laughs> Stand by. Washing spatula. It happens, folks. heat gonna come from? Where's the actual chili, the essence of the chili gonna come from? It's gonna come, look, we haven't even added, look at how full this shit is already. We haven't even added our four cans of beans, three cans of beans. Okay, now rinse this off. Actually, no! I'm not rinsing it. I'm not rinsing it. Go crazy. I've never really done this before. Ooh. Look at this sucker. Oh, you smell that? Mm, smell it. That is guajillo, baby. Guajillo. Man, you can't go wrong. You know what? I'm gonna throw in another one. Just like that. I'm gonna toast them up a bit. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, I should take off the, the wooden part, shouldn't I? that shit up.
So here you get a get a bit of a look at at what our sloth looks like right now. It doesn't look like anything. It just looks like a bunch of ingredients. It doesn't resemble chili at all, does it? Well, just wait until I add <laughs> this fucking colander of three different types of legumes. Oh, we're close to max, folks. See that? <laughs> there is no filler here, folks. This is... This is a hill of beans. You, they say... They say... I'd never amount to a hill of beans. Well, I proved them wrong. So we're gonna need to add some water because right now it's gonna be it's gonna be way too way too thick. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna add some more tomato sauce. Oh, we got a small one here with no salt added. Perfect. Some of the some of the tomato sauce from inside. Just fill it up with a bit of water. Swirl it around. Okay. So we haven't even added any of our spices yet. We lightly spiced the meat, but that's nothing. These guys. I wonder what these guys are up to over here. I'm having fun. Look at that, that's cool. Isn't this cool? Slop. Chilies. Slop. Friend. Slop. Dog. Thirsty. Don't forget to hydrate, folks. Trusty H2O. Smelling spicy. <laughs> Slop for your friends. That's right. Hey, um, I don't have uh, I, I don't have my talk box set up, obviously, because I'm in the kitchen. But uh, I'm gonna shout it out to to um, who? Are we, what are we dealing with here? Hey, we're gonna shout it out to. Uh, UPS package. Wow. Such a believable name. <coughs> oh, there's a snoot boop for the pupper inside our UPS package. Also shouting it out to, uh... Hey, Enviro Baby, what's up? How you doing? Thanks for, uh... Thanks for stopping by. Yeah. Come for the chili, stay for the vibes. That's what we're after right here. <laughs> okay, so this is, uh, we adjusted the, the heat for our, for our pot. We're gonna keep it basically from now on. We're gonna keep it at like a low mid heat, like a low heat. Because we're everything in there is fried, so right now we're basically just gonna be simmering until the cows come home and adding adding our spices, all that fun stuff. Okay, 
So, you might be wondering what, Dr. Sung, what ratio of spices are you using? And the answer to that is yes. Because I don't measure any of this shit. I just do it to taste. I got a big old thing of cumin right here. Just dump, let's just dump a bunch of it in. Now you want to start small because you, you can always add more. You can't take away. And that's, that's freaked me out in the past. So we got cumin, we got some paprika. Pretty soon it'll start to look, start to look that familiar brown. Cause we're we're having a, we're on a one way ticket to Brown Town, folks. Bunch of oregano, shitload of garlic powder. Gotta have that garlic powder. You don't want garlic salt. Again, try to just add the salt to taste. You can do that once you. Uh, once you've uh, selected all the ingredients, salt-free option of them. Ooh, we got some, here's some pops. So these peppers are popping. We got some pepper poppers over here. So let's bring them over here. <coughs> oh, yeah, look at all those. <coughs> Taste the little bits. Okay. I'm just gonna chop these big boys. I'll toss these little guys in just as is, because they look cool. I'll let them cool down just a, just a smidge. Oh yeah, so our bay leaves. All I have are these shitty little bay leaves. They won't do much, but we can toss them all in anyway. human. Oh, haha! <laughs> Shit, I almost forgot, folks! Our coffee. I ground this coffee right before, uh, right before I went live. I'm not sure how much of it to, to throw in there, but I think it's going to be fun. Coffee and chili. If you're anything like me, then coffee gives you life. So let's, let's toss some life into this bad boy. Just a little bit for now. Oh man, I've, I have a feeling that that's going to be really fucking good. Because it's slop, folks. It's slop. You can't go wrong. starting to look a little bit more like chili now. Um, Gooby's got to go out. Hang tight. So, this is about the time of night where everyone in the fucking world uh, lights off fireworks. 
and Gooby goes insane. So, so <laughs> you might hear some distant borking, and then maybe some not so distant borking. So, once it's warm enough, we can we can give a little taste and then see what we should add. Oh. Added. I haven't added lemon. Yeah, what's with all the fireworks, dude? It's like, why is there no chill, man? In Canada, there's fireworks like July 4th. <laughs> or, sorry, July 1st, rather. And then, like, like never I'm just I'm just putting some some yellow squirts See that? just some yellow squirts in there okay so now we're gonna, gonna go ahead <laughs> this but I'm gonna go for it I just needed some hot pepper Actually that bad. <laughs> I got you though. <laughs> let's just say, let's just say <clears throat> it's no whole habanero, but this will do. Yes, it will do. <clears throat> okay. What a rush. Okay, so I don't, I don't know if I should throw in the whole thing. So by using these whole peppers, it's a lot, uh, it's a lot better than, than just throwing in some chili flakes, you know, that you'd get in uh, a little baggie or whatever. And heating it up, kind of like toasting it a little bit. Activates it kind of. I mean, I'm no, I'm no Jordan Ramsey or uh, you know, let's just toss, let's toss this much in for now. these whole boys in just because they're fun I won't end up eating them but uh, they'll be in there simmering <clears throat> see every every time every time I, I make this chili it's a bit of a learning experience you know learn something new try out something new and then see how that works out Okay, I think we're just about ready for a taste. Oh look, it's Gooby. Hey buddy! 
I was outside. Was it good? No fireworks yet, eh? Good. Okay. I think it might. I think it might be warm enough now that it's worth a taste. Let's give this a shot. To be honest, I mostly still just taste that chili. <laughs> but I can tell it's still quite tomatoey. So I'm gonna add some more cumin. Some more garlic. vinegar are kind of interchangeable. They, they sort of serve the same acidic function. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna <clears throat> use up my, my lemon first. Hey Gooby, come over here. Come to your bed. Come to your bed. Come show the nice people how good you are. Yeah, lay down. Down, buddy. Hey, leave it. Can you see him? The lighting's kind of shit over there, isn't it? Really, you should, you should be focusing on Gooby right now, shouldn't it? <laughs> Chili swirly here. All right. Hey, I'm uh, gonna shout it out to Ian. Hey, Ian, what's going on, bud? Yeah, share this with your your vegan father. That's rad. I mean, this is nothing revolutionary here. Maybe there's a couple tips though that are that are cool. That uh, that might help your chili-related endeavors in the future. Hey, Rose Sex Bang Sun, thank you very much. Thank you, Rose Sex Bang Sun. Thanks for enjoying these vibes. Bailey B, thank you very much as well. Thanks for joining us. Um, glad you're enjoying cooking stuff. This is. This is the first time I've ever attempted uh, to stream anything like this. So, maybe we can get Gooby in this frame too. There he is, yeah. <laughs> Very good, thank you so much. Hugs the cat, thank you so much too. 1 a.m. in Newfoundland. <laughs> Soldier in on though, thank you for joining us. <laughs> Tepid Tangu? Ah, uh, Tepid Tangu? Thanks, I don't think we've heard from you before, but thank you for joining us. I'll give Gooby some pets for you right now. Alright, good boy. Hey, buddy? Go to your bed. Go to No, no, no. Wrong bed, buddy. Go to your bed. Lay down. And leave it. <laughs> no, no. Oh, Rufus, no. He's got the sorry ears. That was bad. I'm gonna leave it. Leave it, buddy. Oh, look at how sorry those ears are. Oh, what a guy. 
It's very sorry. Oh, we got a we got a bubble and chili pot right here. Okay, so we're getting we're getting close to the time, folks, where where there's not really much action, and it's kind of just uh, letting it simmer and giving it a taste, adding some stuff, letting it simmer for a bit, having another taste, see what that last thing did change, and just you know adding stuff to to flavor. So. I haven't even added any salt, as, as you as you may have noticed. To be honest, there's like enough salt in there was a mustache hair in my spoon. It's starting to get there. It's definitely tasting like tasting like chili. I'm gonna add a little bit more pepper here. Chop up these these big guajillo bad boys that I fried up. Just a touch more. Vibes are uh, pretty into it. Another one of those full bad boys in there. Cool! We're having fun! <laughs> Touch more of our cumin friend. You know what? A little bit of paprika. <laughs> Gooby heard something. I think he th I think he thinks that he heard a a bird or something, but that's just coming from coming from the song. <laughs> Did you hear that? Woo -hoo! Wait, whose finger is that? Huh. No, I should have oh there he is. Hey buddy. Hey, go to your bed. Go to your bed. Hey, bed. Go to your bed. Do you want this? Touch. Touch my hand. Touch. See that? Oh, you didn't get to see it. It's sit. Touch. Touch. Boop. See, he boops it, and then he gets the treat. Such a good boy. Friggin' love him. I friggin' love him. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, here, let's take a look here. I still need to stir this bad boy some more. I kind of want to put some more some more coffee in. Because I can see the little specks of coffee in there, and that just makes me so happy. It looks, it actually makes it look really cool. It's like a, like a speckled effect. It's ground, very finely ground coffee, but... Still, uh, still visible. Let's do it. I'm gonna put a little bit more in. A little bit more. Just a touch. Because you can't take it out. Oh. Ooh, it makes me so happy that there's some coffee in here. Friggin' cool. Dang, folks, we got, we got, uh, not quite the crowd for this chilly night here. Dang, thanks for coming, everybody. Wow. We got any, uh, we got any new nerds in the crowd? Anybody who hasn't, uh, anybody who hasn't, uh, watched any streams before? If you, if this is your first time, smash that F key. Smash that F key. <laughs> Yeah, welcome, welcome all you new nerds out there. <laughs> Gooby Gooby says welcome. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, buddy. Hey, come here. Come here, guy. Come here. Come 
Yeah, it's the, it's the witching hour, folks. But yeah, thank you so much to all you, all you new nerds out there. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining the stream today. A little fun one. Just making some chili. Escherbug, thank you so much for the donation. Just chill, just chill, chilly vibes. Absolutely. <laughs> Alana, thank you so much. Lana. It's you again. What's up? Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Tara asks if if you if sent me the sauces from the show hot ones. Would I try them? Ooh. I mean. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'd try them. I would, uh, I might, I might spontaneously combust, but I, I'd at least give it a shot, you know? I'm not a, I don't have a, I don't have a huge tolerance for spice, but I like spicy things. I like it, but I, I end up crying. Like my face just waters and it's, it's, uh, it's quite a sight to behold. <laughs> Skull, thank you so much. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the chili. I wish I wish I could. Mm -hmm. It smells really good. It do smell good. Shiro Mesa, what's up? Ah, uh, yeah. Catch the vod later, Shiro. Thank you for stopping by. Holy shit, freaky business. Tuning in from uh, England, 5 a.m. in England. Holy shit. Chilly old, little old chilly wake up. Thank you very much. Great to, great to have you here. Some scary art, thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks for popping by, scary art. Let's get this little <clears throat> a little stir again. We can give it a little taste. It just needs more of everything. We'll put in a bunch more of everything. Now that the, the pepper has... The heat has... Officially subsided. And if you're a maniac and you and you love you love you can just get some straight up like cayenne pepper. Some like powdered cayenne pepper. Toss that shit right in there. That'll get the job done. I'm doing I don't normally I don't normally chop up these these big peppers like, like look at this look at these guys oh that's cool but uh, I'm trying it out have a little fun with that I've also got some chili just some like regular old chili peppers like the pepper seeds. You know what? Look at this. Toss those bad boys right in there. Woo. Cool. Look at that. In fact. <clears throat> yeah. Some crushed chilies. Toss some of those bad boys in there. Just for a little kick. So this is the this is kind of the the most chill part of the process. Like I said, just let it simmer for however long you can let it simmer for. And just keep tasting it and just add shit as you go. And just have fun with it, you know?
<clears throat> hey, Ego Bum Bums, thank you so much. Thanks for, uh, thanks for the tip. <laughs> Why is my microwave on top of the fridge? D don't look at my, don't look at my microwave. That's my microwave. I'm just kidding. Why is it on top of the fridge? Because I, I don't live in a, I don't live in a palace. And that's where it fits. <laughs> uh, Rama Lama, thank you so much. Uh, Rama Lama asks, do I eat the chili plain? Or do I add toppings or pair it with pasta or rice? Um, I mean, I, I said, I said earlier, um, chili to me is really just a vessel for tortilla chips. Um, so I would, you can also, uh, sometimes I will add, sometimes I'll, I'll heat up, reheat my chili and then I'll throw like a dollop of sour cream right on that sucker. Um, I will, I will almost always eat my chili with like tortilla chips or like cheese on like melted like nachos or, or like bread, like toasted buttered bread. Cause I mean, I need, I need a lot I eat a lot. I, I need like 3,000 calories a day, kind of a lot. And uh, that's why cooking in such a volume is so, is so uh, economical for me. And so that's why I'll, I'll usually pair it with like, with some tortilla chips or something like that. Tiny tuba. Thank you so much, Tiny Tuba. Hello. Yeah, you know, maybe I'll maybe I'll cook some more shit in the future. This the slop the slop stream was such a hit. And Batchot, thank you so much. Huh? I'm glad you guys are. I'm glad you guys are with us. I'm glad we're uh, we're all vibing together. Just chilly and chillin'. <clears throat> See, am I forgetting anything? You know what? Maybe it's time we toss a little bit of salt in. I don't need to add much, cause... Cause honestly... Even though a lot of my... Even though a lot of my... Canned goods were like salt free or low sodium or whatever. Still, the ones that that weren't do do add a lot. And the meat and whatnot. Plus, tortilla chips, hella salty. Love me a good salty tortilla chip. So, anyway, folks. This is, uh, this has been nice. It's been fun, hasn't it? Good times. Um, I think, I mean, I think we're pretty much, I think we're pretty much there. So, I'm just gonna let this shit simmer for like forever. I'm gonna keep the top on. Make sure you're simmering on like a super low heat. I've got this on like pretty much the lowest possible setting. And it's nine o'clock where I am, and I'm gonna let this shit simmer until at least midnight. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna leave it out overnight because it'll still be simmering even though it's, the heat is not on. It'll and in the morning because it's because it's so large, thermal mass baby, this shit is still gonna be warm in the morning. And then. Uh, and then in the morning, I would, I would probably freeze, like, three quarters of it. And, um, then the rest would just go in the fridge. And, like I said, honestly, the, the frozen chili tastes even better after... I'll let this guy in. good. <clears throat> the, the frozen chili... Something about it freezing and it just being having like all this time to uh, 
the flavors to mingle uh, makes it even better than like the fresh stuff. It's it's weird like that, but it's true. Well, it's it's been a slice, folks, and you know what? Uh, I can take this opportunity to remind you that tomorrow we'll be streaming in the Cone Zone again, doing some, uh, playing some Resident Evil 7. Pretty much the exact opposite kind of vibe from right now. It's We're talking real spoopy. That game gives me the creps, like you don't even know. It's also hard as balls, man. Why does Ethan run so slow? What the hell's with that? Yeah, but it's gonna be fun. You can watch, uh, you can watch me shave years of my life off from stress. <laughs> hey, Science Bandit, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Great to have you here. Um, you might recognize this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, Ethan is Ethan is fucking useless, right? <laughs> True. All right. Everybody, thank you so much for the first ever Cone Zone cooking stream. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I will keep you posted on on the uh, status of this chili and exactly how delicious it gets. I think I'm gonna probably end up adding all of that coffee in because I'm crazy. All right. Cool. Well, thank you very much, everybody. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, what did we say? 4 p.m. Yeah, 4 p.m. in the Cone Zone. We're going to be uh, we're gonna be vibing. Different style of vibes. Playing some Resident Evil 7. So thank you very much. Stay rad, everybody. Have a lovely Tuesday night. Or, or wait, have a lovely Monday night or Tuesday morning if it's, uh, if you're like, if you're like uh, our new friend over in England, who's joining us. Did I miss a dono? No. I never do that. I never, ever do that. <laughs> yeah, let me... I've just been going from the uh, inside the Derpy app here. Let me get the let me get the real deal up in front of me here. That's everything that's showing up. Did I say, did I say Abby? Bunny Boba T, is that you? <laughs> ah, 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 you thought you could sneak past me. Well, see, it's because, it's because of the name change, you see? <laughs> yes, that's why. Abby, or should I say Bunny, thank you very much for joining us. You you do deserve nice vibes. Thank you for choosing to source your vibes from me tonight. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Oh, you hear that? You hear that? That... Goober off in the distance. Woo! -hoo 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 -hoo. All right, let's let's have one one more taste of chili for the road, shall we? It's coming together. It's coming together. But anyway, folks, that's it. That's it for me tonight. Thank you all so much. And uh, Gooby and I will see you all tomorrow in the cone zone at uh, 4 p.m. Pacific. Right on. Thank you, everybody. Be excellent to yourselves and be excellent to each other. And 
stay rad out there, folks. Have a great day. Bye.